but we've got a bunch of super chats asking us about it and a report from ESPN from Jake Trotter and Adam Schefter came out on the two Browns players who have been robbed at gunpoint. Right, Demetri Felton and Greg Newsom. Well, now we have a third name. And Who's I'm going to read you this exact article. This is word for word. You can take the tag board full, Steve. This is the article <laughs> Schefter and Jake Trotter just tweeted out. This is from Jake, Tr- Jake, Jake Trotter, excuse me, word by word. We'll touch on it for a few minutes here. Uh, Demetri Felton was a different oh. incident. Different incident. But here's the article word for word. Harry and Winfrey. Two Cleveland Browns players were robbed at gunpoint by six masked men, according to a police report. Police redacted the names of the victims in the incident in the report, but a team source confirmed that two players were cornerback Greg Newsom and defensive tackle Perry on Winfrey. Now, Neither was harmed during the incident, police said. According to police, the two players left the Cleveland nightclub early Monday morning. When they got to Newsom's truck in a nearby parking lot, six masked men jumped out of an unknown car and robbed them at gunpoint at 3.30 a.m. Monday morning. In addition to stealing jewelry, the suspects fled in Newsom's truck. Police are attempting to locate the stolen vehicle now. Newsom referenced the incident on Twitter, saying, quote, it's a cruel world we live in. Newsom, not the only Browns player to have his car stolen over the weekend. Another source confirmed that Browns backup running back, Demetric Felton, had his vehicle stolen out of his apartment garage earlier this week. The Browns will begin mandatory training camp on Tuesday. So that's three players in the last yeah. couple days. I got to say, and I'm, I know some people are going to roll their eyes at this, and I don't care. Why are Perry on Winfrey and Greg Newsom out at 3.30 in the morning? Nothing, good's hap- ha- nothing good I mean, happens after 10 p.m. That's what Jim Trussell used to say at like, Ohio State when I covered him at Ohio State. I'll say this, all right? I have been told by somebody I trust that Greg Newsom parties too much. Yeah. And this goes right along with what I've been told, that he's out till 3. 3.30 in the morning when? Sunday night. Sunday Monday night morning. into Monday morning. Okay, and... They were at OTAs. Was yesterday the first day or was today, today the first day? Today. Today. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't care. They're young men. It's their, you know, whatever. They, they're young. I don't know. I they, just think. They have a target. You have a target. When you are, when you are a professional athlete in a city, you got a target on your back. And, and thankfully, they're okay. Like, yeah. that's the most important right, thing right. is everybody's okay. But you got a target on your back and you got to be careful. G, am I being unfair? Uh, you, no, well, well it's, it's understandable that they would be out. I yeah. mean, how old are they? 23, 22? Uh, let me make it clear. I'm not saying they're bad guys because no, they're no. partying. I'm not saying that at all, or that they deserve to be robbed or anything like that. It's, this sucks. I'm just saying, and it's easy for me to say as a 52-year-old right. that's been yeah. through a lot. Yeah. I'm saying I wish they weren't out partying, and I've heard that Greg Newsom is partying a lot. Yeah. And I don't think that's going to help his career. Now, he do, he's a big boy. He can do whatever the hell he wants. I mean, at 23 and 24, I, I was, was probably out until 3.30 we in the morning, too. too. But we didn't have we weren't a professional million dollar athletes. job on the line. We weren't Third, professional yeah. athletes. And, well, I, you know, like I said, you know, I, that behavior of them being out, um, that's just part of the game, and that's going to happen in every locker room, every city. But here's you the problem. You think Chubb's out until 3.30 in the morning? We wouldn't know. He's, but it's about how you move, though. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. about how you – see, some people move a little different. Like, some people will go out. You won't even know they go out. Some people go out, and they be at other places where they go to back door. That's fair. They don't they, – they got security there. They don't like pictures, none of that. So what this situation is, they got to they gotta learn. You guys are like um, – Y'all, what we would call like people in the streets, be calling it. A, that, that's a y'all like cupcakes, bro. That's like a a dinner plate. Like, you come out of the club, it's three thirty, right? It's dark outside. They know you really ain't gonna have no weapons on you, right? You play football. Yeah. Can't have no weapons on you. Right. They know you're not gonna really have no security with you. It's three thirty in the morning. It's after OTAs. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you? Nah, uh, uh-uh. you just trying to get to have a good time, do your thing. So now you at a disadvantage. I always tell people I don't play away games. <laughs> away games, the refs cheat you. Away games, you don't know where the court is. You the basket is a little lower. The the locker rooms is trash. In the same way with this, when you out and about, them is away games, bro. So now, and a lot of times they don't understand this. This is rampant. You meet people on Instagram. You meet girls. You meet different people in people's entourage. You invite them to the house. You invite them over to this party over here. Now the girl or whoever you meet turn around. Make that call. She got a team of uh, like six. Hey, hey, there's some football players over here. It's so 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 over here. I got so and so verified. They got about uh, about hundred thousand dollars of jewelry right now. Who they with? They with some with a camp? No, nah, it's just two of them solo. 
Now they bring six dudes and it is what it is. And you would never know who dropped a dime on you. Right. You'd never know who well, you, you put in your circle. You know those guys are out a lot because this was, it seems like a setup, right? Yeah, yeah. So, they, they don't, they would never know. They had to know who you was. Yeah. Because they would have not gotten both of y'all and know what car to stand right, by. Right, right. And yet again, here's Perry on Winfrey in the headlines. <laughs> Right. Yet again, right. and and he's the victim in this, but yes. still, yeah. by being out at three thirty in the morning, you put yourself in this position, and that's where again, like you have to realize that you're a target, and he has to realize he should be on his very last strike. I, I'm a little surprised he's here yeah. to begin with that he's still here, but here he is again in the headlines. I, I just wonder what the commitment level of these two players are, and. You could tell me it's unfair. I'm being judgmental of a young man. I won't go that Maybe far. Maybe I am, but Jason, just that I've heard. Greg no, I, 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 I a lot. And, but they all, a lot of them do. And and right. and here's the, why I'll give him a little bit of a break on this. Okay. It's, it's June. Yeah. It's not all September, right. October, enough. November. But he, and it's really sometimes I don't. I think the the young guys especially, they don't realize yet the target that they are or the status That's that true. they have. And yeah. I, I think I've told this before on this show. I don't remember. When, when LeBron first came back and the Cavs had to beef up their security, they had former Secret Service on their security team, yeah. and they, they just they, they double, tripled in size. And I was talking to one of the, the security guys who was sort of assigned to, to Kyrie at the yeah. time, and they were on a, a way trip. They were, oh, it was a road trip. And the car stopped in the middle of the road and said, Kyrie, and like waved him over. Yeah, and, right. Ky- and Kyrie walked out to the car. Yeah. And it's, I, I can't remember if he grabbed him, pulled him back, or after it was over. Anyway, yeah. after the – and it was fine. Like, they just wanted to say hi to him. Yeah. And the guy told him, do not ever approach a car. You have no idea. Right, right, right. And, and Kyrie was four years into the league by this point. Right. Like, he should have known better. But, just get but these are just young – and he was that – he would have been that same age, 23-ish. Yeah. And I just don't think sometimes that they realize – who they are right. and the target that they are to people. Yes. And, and it takes something like this, unfortunately, for right. them to sort of realize that. But again, they're all safe. That's the most important yeah, thing. Yeah, nobody got hurt. Nobody got important. hurt. Yeah, man, just like, you know, so it's a lot, man. Like, y- y'all got to understand something. Like, even regular people, like, if you do anything of noteworthy, like, you don't really think about it. You're just a regular person. It happened to me sometimes. I don't even be thinking like that. Like, and somebody will call your name and you just don't know who it is. And it's just like, all right, you, you, any interaction you have out in the community could be a good one or a bad one. And when you when you got a lot of money and uh, so there's people in the city that you live in that don't got really nothing, they don't care nothing about you playing for right. the Browns. Anybody always trying to show you love. They're like, you here with this car, you in here with all the girls, and you got $100,000 of jewelry. Yeah. What you think we about to do? At the end of the day, you 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 can feed everybody, right? And so that that's just where it come from. So you gotta move better. You gotta just move. All you gotta right. move smarter.